Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and uh, today I want to show you what it looks like to test a cordless phone or a decked phone. Um, so I'm always saying that people need to return to using landline phones. Um, I'm a big proponent of that because of course we all know that cell phones give off very very high radio frequency levels. Um, but what I often see is that when people have landlines, they're using a cordless phone, which unfortunately I, I get just as high, if not higher readings on cordless phones that I do on a cell phone. So I just want to show you what that looks like. I've got my Safe and Sound Pro 2 meter here. Turn the sound on and that sound is this cordless phone. Okay, so let me reset it here to see what kind of readings I'm getting. Now I am close to the phone, so to, to really get an accurate, the most accurate reading, um, I want to be about three feet away at least uh, because, let me turn that down, otherwise I'm in the near field and the readings aren't quite as accurate. Um, but for the purposes of this, I, I just, I do want to show you, you know, and the sound will help to illustrate how high the radio frequency readings are. So. At about three feet away or so, uh, if you can see this reading, uh, it might be a little hard to read, but I'm getting pulses around 2,000, 3,000. The max pulse I've gotten is about 8,000 microwatts per square meter. When I go closer to the phone, I'm getting 10, 11, 15, 20, 23, 20, 27,000 microwatts per square meter. Now remember building biology guidelines want our numbers to be under 10 microwatts per square meter and um, close to the phone I'm at you know 27,000 or so and, and away from the phone a couple feet away I'm at 3,000 or so microwatts per square meter. Now I want you to hear what happens when I pick up the phone and I hit talk Um, so you can hear it for one, uh, and for two, two, I turned the meter off because the sound's just so obnoxious. But I got a pulse of about 400,000 microwatts per square meter, and again, my meter is in the near field, so the readings aren't entirely accurate. But you know, I just want you to get a sense that this is extremely high, and that is that's. Usually, that's a bit higher than I usually get from a cell phone. So I'm going to illustrate that again. When I hit talk, um, I mean, let me put this phone far away. You can still hear it, right? Like, let's see how far away I can get. Wow, and still pick up this sound. So I'm going to go three feet, five feet, six feet, ten. I'm pretty far away, I'm probably 20 feet or so from that phone and I'm still picking it up. So that's a, that's a very large distance that this phone is emitting. And remember, this is when it's in talk. Sorry about that background there. And let me turn that off because that is really annoying. Um, you're putting this where you're putting this here to your head for I mean I know people that talk on the phone for a couple hours a day right easily so um, please don't do that these are not safe to be using um, I, I strongly recommend again a corded landline uh, I'm sorry yes a, a wired landline and a corded phone okay um, that is going to be the safest thing you could do now, I'm actually, uh, this is a relative's house of mine, and I'm actually staying here for a few days. So they, and I, <laughs> I did unplug the phone, and they weren't happy about that. So what I've done here is I brought a shielding cloth with me. So when I'm here, I just drape it over um, so that it won't reach into my bedroom. Uh, and let's see, I was getting about two to 3,000 um, at this distance, and now, let me reset that. Now I'm getting pulses of about 100 or so 
145. Um, so this shielding cloth does make quite a difference. You know, I want it to be lower, but at least I'm not getting the really, really high number at night when I'm sleeping and I just keep this cloth, you know, over it. And we're, all the people in the home are happy. So that's the takeaway for today. Make sure that you know what you're doing when you buy a new phone, when you're using a cordless phone. Get a corded landline, that's the best option. Um, and if you've got any questions about any of this, please leave it below. I answer all the questions and comments. And um, if you can hit like and subscribe, that would also help me a lot because it helps get this information out to more people so that we can raise awareness about this very important issue. So that is it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.